she learned. And now to say it forward, Miss Cherry Mendoza Torres. We always hear the word fight in reference to cancer. Lumaban ka. That's what people tell uh, those who are fighting cancer. Lumaban ka. I was diagnosed with stage 3 nasopharyngeal cancer in 2016, just barely two years after being diagnosed with papillary thyroid cancer. Papillary thyroid cancer was simple to manage, but not nasopharyngeal cancer. For nasopharyngeal cancer, I had eight cycles of immunotherapy and 35 sessions of radiotherapy. It was the most difficult eight weeks of my life. What does fighting cancer really mean? When they say fight, what are we fighting against? We say it's cancer. So um, cancer is the enemy. So how do we fight cancer? And we say treatment, of course. But treatment has also its side effects. In my case, dry mouth, loss of taste buds, difficulty sw swallowing, loss of hair, and, and others. I thought, Lord, how will I fight this cancer? So they say that uh, to, to fight means to know the enemy, to go into battle. You must understand the enemy. So I tried to learn all, everything that I can about nasopharyngeal cancer, and it was scary. So I prayed to the Lord to give me hope. How do I fight this cancer? And the Lord led me to three stories in the Bible. The first one is David and Goliath. When David saw Goliath, he said, the battle is the Lord's. The second story is about Jehaziel, son, son of Zechariah, when they were being invaded by the Ammonites and the Moabites. He told, uh, he told the people, do not be afraid of the vast army, because the battle is not yours, but God's. The battle is not yours, but God's. And the third story is about Moses when they were being chased by the Egyptians. Moses told the people, the Lord will fight for you. I realized that winning the battle is not about knowing the enemy, but knowing who is fighting the battle for me and with me. Understanding this and understanding that God is the one fighting the battle for me means surrendering and believing that he will, he will fight the battle until the end. I cannot deny that I had the best cancer treatment, but other people also have the best cancer treatment and it doesn't work for them. The battle against cancer is not about getting the best treatment ultimately, but it is in knowing and believing that it is God who will, who will win the battle, who will make the treatment work, who will make you well, who will restore you until, until the fight is over. 